Hey, you YouTubers. New Jersey Devil Tactical here, bringing you another knife review. Today we have the we have an Anza fixed blade. Uh, this is a 2010 large presentation Anza, and it's a magic Bowie. And uh, I'll give you a look at it here. First of all, we'll go over the sheath. Uh, the sheath is 100% genuine leather, and it's made in USA. And uh, sheath is Anzo Nice, made in USA. Good old USA knife. Uh, should hold about a two inch belt. So, uh, nice sheath. I did put another coating on it. Um, I use a product called Seal. And uh, Seal did a real nice job sealing all this up. I even put a little bit in here to seal the inside up. And the knife slips in there a lot better. And, uh, you know, it's a nice sheath. Um, there's no top clasp to buckle your knife down in there but you know, it's a nice sheath okay like I said this is the magic Bowie and uh, the magic Bowie is made out of a 12 inch tempered Nicholas magic cut file and it's a 3 16th file and uh, give you a nice look at it here the overall length of this knife is 10 and 10 and 1 8 and the blade itself is 5 and 5 8 like I say it's made out of a magic cut file I don't know what the files made out of no idea but it's something pretty good it has to be in order to cut metal and it's made it is a high carbon file and it's a tool steel so uh, you know the blade is a clip point um, also there's some nice file work done here let you take a look at that really nice job on the file work there as you notice there try to get a good look on the bottom of the blade here it says Anza USA number 10 I guess that's for 2010 and uh, you know it's a real nice knife um, I have used this I haven't used it out in the field I haven't done any chopping with it um, I've done some whittling and I've done some box cutting and some other uh, small chores around the house I used it for um, that's why I feel like I'm qualified to bring you a review here because I did use it you know I don't give anybody a review in my opinion unless I experienced it and used it myself so um, I'll tell you a little bit about the handle here real nice handle it is uh, a silver and walnut diamond wood with silver and oak inserts real nice beautiful job here um, the only thing I had a little problem with uh, there's no pins there's no pins compressing and holding this handle together um, I guess uh, he thought he didn't need them you know um, I know this handle is sealed and glued with epoxy so I don't think the handles going anywhere I mean this is not my first Anza. I, you know, I had another one. I never had a problem with the handles coming off. Uh, even when, even when chopping. You know, with the other one, I did do some chopping with. Um, also, this knife does have a finger choil here, and the finger choil is real nice for the choking up on your whittling and doing any, uh, you know, some small teaking work there. You know. Uh, really works well that finger choil you know I love finger choils and knives and uh, you know also as you see uh, there is some of the file left here you know he didn't grind it all off uh, and this file here it really doesn't hinder at all on any of the cutting you know it, it might grip a little but there's not enough there to hinder anything you know I guess that's because of the sweep 
of the convex grind here, you know. Um, you know, you, you might even say it's a it's a hollow grind. You know, there is it does go in there a little bit, so it is a hollow grind. Um, it goes up the blade, I say, about 65%. And then we have file. Um, never had any problems with the ends and nice rusting. Um, you know, I keep them clean, I keep them oiled. And as everybody knows, you know, tool steel will rust if you don't take care of it. You know, so I, you know, I do take, take good care of my knives. And like I said earlier, this is a presentation Bowie. So I guess that means you're supposed to put this thing in a nice pretty case and then look at it. Well, I'll tell you what, that would fucking drive me nuts. Um, I'm a firm believer that a knife ain't worth a damn unless you can use it. You know, I don't have any knives around my house sitting in a pretty case where I can look at it. You know, if I can't use it, I don't buy it. So, you know, this one will be used when I go camping and you know, when I do some bushcraft, you know, it will be, it will be used. And, uh, you know, I have to say that uh, when this knife came, it was very sharp. You know, I'm almost hair splitting sharp, but, you know, what I decided to do, I decided to take across my strop a few times, and that made it hair splitting sharp. Uh, I'll show you how sharp it is here. Let me get a piece of paper. And uh, I'll give you a little demo on how sharp it is. You might hear my dogs in the background. I have a little pug here, my little baby pug. And so you hear like a little bell. That's her. But it is, it's very sharp. Here, you guys want to look at my pug real quick? Hold on. Come here, Carly. Carly, come here. Come here, Carly. Come here. Come here. There you go. There's my pug. There's my little Carly. Yeah, she's almost six months old. Say hello. Say hi, you YouTubers. It's me. It's Carly. All right, we'll put her down. Let her go play with her sister. I have another pug also. And uh, I have a little min pin also. But you know, like I say, it is it's very sharp now. Um, so there's the sharpness test. So uh, you know, like I say, this the ends and knives are very dependable. Um, you know, I never had any problem with them. Um, you know, what else can I say about this? Um, you know, another thing, it doesn't have a hole for a lanyard. Um, not that I ever needed one, um, but you know, it's nice to have that hole there. I can put a lanyard through so. You know, when I'm doing some chopping, I can wrap it around my wrist, so in case that knife gets loose, it'll, the knife will stay with me. But, no hole, so what are you going to do? I'm not about to drill one in it, so, uh, you know. Uh, you know, I love the Anza products. You know, I paid, I think for this I paid about... I don't know, it was around 145, 150, and that's with the sheath. And, uh, you know, so it wasn't terribly expensive, you know, but, uh, you know, the quality is there. Um, I don't know what else I could say about it, really. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions about this knife, you know, uh, just email me or. You know, leave a comment there, and I'll try to answer your your questions as best as I can. Um, what I know about these knives, and if I don't know, maybe I can look it up and find you for it. If you know more about them than I do, you know, let me know if something I missed or something I didn't mention about this knife. But um, you know, the handle is really really neat. I like the way you've done the handle. You know, uh, the only thing I have to say about the handle it is a little slick. You know, there is a coating on there, but. Um, you know, it does stay with you. You know, it's not going to slip out of your hands. Um, not at all. Um, you know, but it, it's a sweet knife. Really sweet knife. I have another one also. And I will be reviewing the other ends I have. And I'll be reviewing that in the next couple of videos. You know, I've got the, I'll get that one in there so I can show you guys my other ends. And, uh, and I've been looking at a couple more also. 
So, um, you know, you know, if you have a chance, uh, go on to the website, go on to Anza's website, and check out some of their knives, and uh, you know they're worth it. You know, uh, you know, my opinion. You know, I really wouldn't show anything that I wouldn't use myself as far as knives. You know, and this is a full tang, um, a very nice knife. So, pick you up, pick yourself up one or two or three or or twenty. You know. I know every time I buy a knife, I get bitched at for my wife, you know. And that's the way it is when you're married. You know, you know, I, I am a collector and user of cutlery, you know. So every time I buy a knife, my wife says, Oh, man, I'm wasting your money. Yeah, well, you know, that's her opinion. She has the right to her opinion, and I do love her. Even though she is a pain in my ass sometimes, so. Um... You know, like I said, I have a lot of other nights to show you guys, and, you know, I'm really excited and, you know, um, and interested in showing you what I have. And I haven't even begun to scratch the surface, you know. You know, I, I get in a couple knives a week, and, uh, you know, and and I just enjoy showing them and sharing them with you guys out there and, uh, you know, you other knife nuts like myself, so, um keep stopping by and I'll keep showing them and uh, you know and I and I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to my channel and uh, if you guys want me to su subscribe to your channel I'd be more than happy and uh, you know that's how it works in the uh, knife community in the tactical community so um, you know, I have a lot of our products also I want to show you guys that you know tact tactical gear that I have here also so um so she's kind of keep coming back, keep watching, and I'll keep the ball rolling here. So uh, thanks for stopping by, guys, and have a good evening, good day, whatever you're at, and uh, I'll catch you later. All right, bye.